technology may be coming to a mall near you. It's $60 to get a scan here. It's $280 in my office. Dr. Leon Hansen is an obstetrician and founder of Fetal Photos, a company which uses the newest ultrasound technology to give you a closer look at your baby long before it's born. It feels like I'm waiting for so long through the whole pregnancy, and I want to see him now. <laughs> Businesses like Fetal Photos are opening around the country, but they do have their critics. Here's a group that are using this wonderful technology to put bucks in their pocket. Many doctors are concerned Fetal Photos technicians are not certified medical sonographers trained to identify problems in the womb. These individuals are going to make false positive diagnoses, see something that's wrong, scare the hell out of the patient, uh, and um, unjustifiably. But proponents say ultrasound has never been shown to do any harm. They say the medical community is just trying to protect what has always been its own turf. You know, 10 years ago, they felt it was inappropriate to have a pregnancy test available to the general public. Oh, he's so active. Those are his feet. Do you feel him? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Keep in mind, insurance companies do not reimburse for this kind of thing because they're not medical, and the FDA is keeping a watch on these businesses. They think it's misuse of medical equipment, but they all say, go to your doctor first. Linda? Carol, thank you very much. We want to take okay. this to a higher level now and do a little bit of fair and balanced debate. With us now is Dr. Leon Hansen. He's in Salt Lake City. He's the founder of one of these companies called fetophotos.com. At the same time, on the other side, we have an ethicist we often turn to, Bruce Weinstein. Thank you both very much for being here. Dr. Hansen, first and foremost, are there any health risks associated with getting this 4D ultrasound that women don't know about? Well, not to our knowledge. As you said earlier, over 40 years of uh, ultrasound experience and extensive studies, uh, to date there is no known harmful effect from ultrasound. But in theory, this is, a, this is much more detailed. I mean, this is, you know, I mean, I, I'm not a doctor, but you would be using more you know, ultrasound waves, would you not, to be getting this kind of clear picture? Um, actually, there aren't a lot more waves nor a lot more energy in the newer technologies. In fact, in many ways, they're much safer than the older machines. Uh, it's a matter of energy, and um, in the studies that have been done so far by the major uh, businesses that produce these machines, they have not said that there are any more harmful effects or energy uh, produced than the older machines. So we to date, no, of no harmful effects. No. Okay, so then to the, que the question to our ethicist, what's the big deal? What's the problem? Well, the big deal is that this is a sort of procedure that ought to be done under the care of a physician. And unfortunately, what fetal photos does is it reduces a profession, namely healthcare, to a business. Now, there's nothing wrong with running a business, but we generally consider healthcare to be in a different kind of category. And only a physician can obtain what is called an informed consent because only a physician is in a position to inform patients about the risks and benefits. Who trains these technicians? Where do they receive their training? They don't have the expertise that a physician does. Dr. Hansen, let me add to that. What do you do? I mean, if you have a technician performing this, and let's just say you find, the technician finds something that is a problem, you know, what do you do? It's not like they're qualified to say, oh, by the way, I just found a birth defect. Right. Well, the whole, you have to understand the whole purpose, at least of fetal photos, um, was started basically because of an ethical issue where, where patients would want more time uh, to bond with their uh, unborn child where the father of the child could not be present or other people. And we, uh, patients for years would ask me, can we come back for a second ultrasound? We weren't able to see the, the sex of the baby. And it, I felt it was unethical to bring them back and then try to charge the insurance company for an additional scan or uh, charge the patient a, a large amount of money. Because of my liability as an obstetrician, it's an expensive uh, scan and we use it for medical purposes and make diagnoses. So we open fetal photos simply for the opportunity for patients to have more time to have a clearer look maybe uh, at their infant at a different stage of the pregnancy when they could see the sex of the baby. I mean, at fetal photos, they are required to have an ultrasound by their, by their regular obstetrician. They right. sign a waiver that says they understand this is not a medical ultrasound, that, that, that this does not replace their medical ultrasound, that we will not look for medical issues with their child, that it's basically an opportunity limited to view their unborn child 
with better technology than maybe their physician had to offer or at a different time in the pregnancy. And that's exactly um, the problem with this, if I may say, because it has nothing to do, by their own admission, with the welfare of the fetus or the mother. Well, but neither do nose jobs and, and breast implants. I mean, if you're talking about the commercialization of medicine, hello. Except with a nose job, as you put it, uh, a physician obtains an informed consent for the patient, and they are in a, the patient is in a position to accept or reject the procedure based on the knowledge that they get from the physician, but that is not the case with fetal photos. And you know what it does is it reduces a complex professional interaction to something like going to a mall and having your $3 photo taken in a booth. And it, it, what kind of a world are we becoming where you can go to a mall and have, uh, you know, place, pr possibly place your fetus at risk of harm so that you can have photos made to, to please you and your family. This is, uh, in, in my opinion, a, a complete degradation of the, the, the noble profession of health care. Unfortunately, we got to leave it there. Mm -hmm. uh, Bruce Weinstein, Dr. Leon Hansen, gentlemen, thank you both very much. Straight ahead, on the much lighter side of things, if you want to look like your favorite TV star and you saw them at the Emmys and you thought they looked fabulous but you don't have their gigantic paycheck, well, we've got some professional help on the way. We're going to show you how to manage high fashion on a much lower budget. So stick around for the proof. It's up next here on the Fox News Channel.